I'm ready to get back to a little chillier weather. I got my sweaters out. We're leaving Florida's forever summer and heading to enjoy fall in Georgia. We have Thanksgiving planned on a friend's farm, relaxing and thinking about all we have to be thankful for. But before we get there... I have a problem. What's that? This is not good. This is not It's on show good. side. We're getting everything all situated for a long, long drive to Georgia. A long, <laughs> long six and a half hour drive. Uh, just kidding, it's not that long. But uh, I'm really kind of sad to say goodbye to Florida. It's been so nice being able to enjoy the nice sunshine on the beach. But I'm ready for fall. Are you ready? I'm ready to get back to a little chillier weather. I got my sweaters out. So I've had all my sweaters like in a bag up in our car topper. Pulled them all out so I can get all cozy in Tennessee and Georgia and Texas these next few weeks. Not excited for this seven hour drive, but fingers crossed that Atlas will be a good boy. Right next to where we parked, we found this coffee place and they're a, they have a small batch roasted in Florida coffee that they sell. Um, we have a coffee company back home. We love coffee and so we try to check out local roasteries wherever we go. It says the notes are blackberries, grapefruit, and Pinot Noir. So I'm excited to try this out. We got some news the other day. So I don't know if you remember a couple videos ago, I was talking about how we're going to build an A-frame on our property and hopefully have it ready by spring. Um, we got our budget back and it's just so much more than I thought it was going to be. You know, we got into this lifestyle to get out of the rat race, to be able to live more free. And I just feel like building this A-frame is gonna put us right back into that whole game. And I just don't, want to do it so I'm having a little bit of trouble trying to figure out what we're going to do you know we've been looking forward to building something small like the a-frame is only a thousand square feet it's two bedroom one bath you know obviously we're on raw land right now so we have to build a well we have to you know put in a septic system you know, I'm like there has to be a better way and to appease the county we have to have well and septic and we can't just live on the land in our van because that's illegal which i think is bs it's just really freaking hard it's all gonna work out and we're going to figure this out it's just there's a lot of decisions that need to be made really quickly we we have been very intentional the past three and a half years and getting the property was something that was done with great intention and building something on it is something that will be done with great intention. We're just building equity in something great and building toward our dream of having a creative retreat where friends can come stay and we can create a space for community, which is something that we've really been missing on the road. I just need to change my perspective and, you know, get more excited about it rather than just being afraid of committing to something because that's something I struggle with. Deep breaths, it's all going to be okay. In an ideal, perfect world, I would love to just pay straight cash for my house and be like, there you go, there's the cash for my house. Hey, I understand where you're coming from and I support you. At the same time, there is fear there. I see the fear there. If it was like, hey, I'm not afraid, I like living small. We can come up with a different idea. You know, a lot of what you're coming from is like the fear of not having the money. I'm like, well, that's a different problem. If I could just build a Hold house. On, I have a problem. What's up? I have a problem. What's that? Uh, this guy just yelled at me saying one of my side panels is off. What are they talking about? Crap. 
that man the wind just literally pulled this off within the last few miles um maybe we should just go back with the van and try to find it The drive is going to be just a little bit longer than seven hours today. Fingers crossed. You think you saw I it? I that was it. Yeah, it was right off the shoulder. Just right off the shoulder, laying in the grass. I think I saw it. Oh my god, that's way bigger than I thought. Yeah. That's crazy. It doesn't look scratched. I made it through okay. Honestly, I'm really thankful because the guy, like as soon as it happened, guy came up, like drove up next to me and like went like this, rolled out my window and told me that it just flew off. Because I mean, I check my mirrors all the time, but I didn't happen to see it. And I probably would have, it probably would have been an hour and a half or two hours before I stopped for fuel and noticed that it was gone. And then I wouldn't have known where I lost it, obviously. So I'm really grateful for that guy. Again, let's roll. Let's roll, guys. Online. Hey. Hey. Pulled over at a truck stop, get some gas. Everly went with Mars. Beirut went with Mars. So it's just me and this guy now. Yeah, we'll catch up with them later. Are you ready to get back on the road? I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> we got the truck dropped off. Yep, truck is safe. So now, it's just us. A little suggestion, we've used way.com when we've been different been in different cities. It is for you to use when you're flying out. So if you were to take a flight the next day, but you know, if you're really desperate for a place to park. Or if you're somewhere that you just want a secure place right. to park. Mm -hmm. Most all of them have security. They're mostly all hotels, FYI. But there's some hotels that have, you know, like it's three bucks a night. If you're somewhere where you don't know where to park, you're not familiar with the city, you don't just want to stealth camp on a city street, or the rules are really strict, um, check it out. Um, it's just something that we've found useful on occasion, and something that we're using here in Atlanta. Piedmont Park's busy on a Saturday. Really, really busy. There are bikers, there are walkers, there's joggers, there's doggers. It's so busy here. Yeah, I mean, I don't... No, I'm just saying, like, you know that I don't like massive crowds of people. Especially during, like, COVID. Like, we're traveling as a family. Like, I don't, like, half of those people aren't wearing masks. Not, I don't know if masks help or not, but if they do help, they're definitely not even putting their, like, trying. I right, guarantee well, you there are a couple thousand people in that park. I didn't realize how I didn't realize how populated Atlanta was. I mean it's ridiculous. So although we want to see Piedmont Park and all the lists, you know, it had it on there of things to do in Atlanta, we are gonna wait and check it out another night because there are just too many dang people. Why do we keep finding a place that we like and then when we as soon as we get there we can't go there? Maybe because it's too busy. Because sweetie. it's really busy. We're trying to travel responsibly. Parking might be a little bit of an issue. Don't be a jerk. I can park really well, but oh, this is no, I'm not, insane. No, I'm not. No. There's not really anywhere to park. Oh my god. What's wrong? Stop the. What's that, wrong? That car is what's wrong. Everything's right. You got Everything's it. fine. Like, there's Look. plenty of room. Yeah, everything. I just went inside and checked it out. And it's all. Not vegetarian barbecue. It's all made from plants. It's Elena's first plant based barbecue joint. <laughs> Let's go do it. Wakey, wakey. 
I like that. What are you not? No. Oh, that's kind of fun. Ear alert. Whenever you get in a situation, a situation you can't handle, you can't get out of it <laughs> because you can't handle it. <laughs> mm. I look ridiculous right now. I was just, I was just trying to like get outside as quickly as I could because I felt like I was missing out on the coffee at the picnic table. And I don't care, I'm not gonna see these people again. Good motto in life. Hey, I've learned to live by that motto a lot, okay? Are you proud of that? I mean, life's too short to care if you think, so. So what I've been doing lately, whenever we're in urban areas, is like visualizing and utilizing mentally all the space that could be used for people to like grow their own food because we've moved away from that. Now 99% of people don't grow their own food and dep depend on like big farms and, and, and whatever to, to get their food. So yeah, we're just walking around Atlanta and I'm just like, you know, like that could be used. Like, that little space could be used for a garden, particularly like restaurants. You would think that like you'd want to grow your own kind of anything to be able to offer to your patrons. Why won't he be the king? I know he is the king I see inside. McRae, Georgia. McRae. 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 Tomorrow is Thanksgiving and we're here at our friend Thea's. We actually met her in Miami back in 2018 and she's become one of our greatest friends. We traveled to Thailand and met her there and now we get to spend Thanksgiving with her. We're at her mom's house and her mom has a bunch of cats and horses and dogs and she even has a squirrel that she has nursed back to health. I don't know where the squirrel is. Oh. Huh? It gave him to me because they cut the tree down and, and, and the nest was in the tree. There was five of them, but he oh. decided to stay. He likes you. Yeah, he needs to get out of that plant. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. How nice is this?
take me on a date? Mwah. So we're at our friend Thea's and she offered to watch the babies so we could go on a date to the deer stand. The first time I met Mars's family was Thanksgiving 2011 and he grew up out on the farm out on the farm western oklahoma mm -hmm. and so he took me on a four-wheeler and showed me all around and so today thanksgiving here in georgia you know this brings back memories we should be more quiet because we're gonna scare the deer away the deer. do you want to go first yeah so you can catch me catch me yeah. if i fall is this thing safe they do it all the time. <laughs> you come up here to join me? I'm turning it on right now. We made it to the top. We got ourselves some real good pine trees and some of those four legged deers. So, fun fact Georgia has a government subsidy in which you can. I guess collect the lumber from uh, pine trees and then plant new ones, raise them for 15 years, do the same thing, and it's like part of their environmental plan. So our friend Thea's family does that. Yeah, her brother does that. So all of these trees are babies, but here in 15 years they're going to harvest them for their wood and then get replanted. Mm -hmm. No deer so far. Oh, I thought that was a tick. You gonna check me for ticks later? My pleasure. <laughs> well, we didn't see any deer. It was, really, it was really pretty. First time I've ever made out in a deer stand though. So, now we say goodbye to Georgia, to our friend Thea, and soon we will say goodbye to 2020, a year that changed so many of our lives. It's taken a lot from us, but it's also made me more fully understand the importance of gratitude. We must learn to be thankful for every crowded little moment. For the present. For the people beside us. Or maybe we have learned to more fully love ourselves. Whatever the case, we hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and that you remember to live with a spirit of gratitude throughout the year.